Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can do a Luma Pay transition inside of Premiere. So yeah, let's head on over to Premiere and make some transitions. Wow, that was a bad way to start a video. Okay, so I have two clips in the timeline right now. Uh, both of these are stock footage and now I'm going to do a luma fade transition between them. So the first thing you want to do is click on the first clip and move it to the track right above it. Next you want to go to the end of the first clip and then hit shift and the left arrow key about 12 times to move 2 seconds to the left of the timeline. Next you want to move the second clip to the position of the playhead. Now you want to click on the first clip and you want to split it. Now you want to go into your effects panel and search for gradient wipe. Once you find the effect, uh, drag and drop it onto this clip right here. Next, you want to go into your effects control panel and then click on the little watch icon right next to transition completion in the gradient wipe tab. And you want to leave this value as zero. As you can see, it just created a keyframe. Now you want to move a few frames forward and then change the value of transition completion to 100. Next, you want to move this keyframe to the end of the clip. Next, you want to click on this drop down menu right next to gradient layer. As you can see, there are three options, video 3, video 2, and video 1. Now, since we only have two video clips here, video 3 is basically useless. What we can really work with here is video 2 and video 1. You can use either of them because both of them will work, but generally video 1 tends to work better for me and that might just be my personal preference. Uh, you might want to try out both of them, but I'm just going to try out video 1. And yeah, that's how you create a Luma Freight transition. Now let's take a look at the end result. So I hope you guys liked this video. Make sure you like and subscribe and watch out for the next one.